Hey, what is good, my beauties? So today I'm going to jump right into this video. So I got this wig from this company on Amazon called Home Guy Store. So it's a blonde wig and I will be using this watercolor to dye the hair. So here is the wig straight out of the box. Um, and then it also came with some wig caps and then a thank you um, brochure, letter, note, whatever. But the inside construction of this wig, it has two combs at the top and it has a comb at the bottom and a comb in the middle and then it also has adjustable straps now I am going to give you guys a closer look at the lace it is a t-part lace wig and so I don't have much lace that I'm working with but we're going to get it together anyway so before I get started I'm going to go ahead and spray some got to be goose spray on the lace part um, just so that it doesn't dye the knots and then I'm going to go ahead and take my blow dryer and make sure that it's dry. And then once I'm done with this, I'm just going to go ahead and take this watercolor dye that I got from my nearest beauty supply store. And this, the color of this dye is in the color lavender. And so what I did is I took my bowl and filled it up with hot water that I got from the sink. And then I went ahead and poured the watercolor dye into the bowl and I made sure that I used every little bit got my money's worth and then I went ahead and stirred it using my <clears throat> little brush now I'm going to go ahead and dip it into the water making sure that the dye catches onto the hair and I just continue to just dip it this is my first time doing this um, so I just watched other people do it and so I'm making sure that every last piece of this blonde hair gets purple and honestly I wish that I would have bought two um, bottles of this dye because all of the hair really didn't even get the dye onto it but I still like the way it turned out at the end of the day but yeah so right now I'm just making sure that I get this purple dye on every piece of blonde strand because I was noticing as I was looking on the inside of the wig that it wasn't catching the dye and you guys see that I use most of the dye. If you look in the bowl, it's almost clear. So you wanna make sure that you get all the dyes. But now that I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry using this brush blow dryer that I got from an Amazon seller. I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's my first time using um, some, a product like this. And so I'm, I was just testing it out. Once I was done blow drying the hair, I really liked the way the color turned out. But you guys will see once I start straightening the hair, you will see like some silver streaks. You will see that some parts of the hair did not take the purple or the lavender dye. But at the end of the day, for the most part, I really like the color of this hair. And so as I am straightening the hair though, I'm going to go ahead and apply some heat protector spray. And yeah so make sure you guys go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you are enjoying this video so far go ahead and hit that thumbs up and do not forget to hit that post notification bell so you know the next time i upload once i was done straightening the hair i decided i wanted to do a little bit of plucking around the hairline and so that's what i'm doing just a little bit because i don't even have much lace to work with anyway and so i can't do a lot of plucking but still i wanted to just thin out the hairline just a little bit so that I can hopefully give it a more natural look. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I surely can. I only did a little bit of plucking, but that little bit of plucking definitely made a difference. All right, so now I'm about to go ahead and apply this wig so but first i'm going to add some tint spray to the little bit of lace that i have after applying the tint spray i'm going to go ahead and spray some got to be glue spray so that it can stick and then go ahead and blow dry everything to make sure that it dries and doesn't rub off now it's time to apply this bad baby y'all but look at my face y'all one side of my face is swollen because i got my wisdom tooth pulled out so it's the left side of my face but y'all gonna see it's the right for y'all but left for me but yeah it's swollen at the bottom i got my wisdom tooth pulled and i don't i don't recommend okay because it, it hurts it, yeah nobody should ever eat their wisdom tooth pulled because that's not a some type of pain you want to experience at all all right but anyways 
I'm applying this wig. I just applied it using some Got To Be Glue spray. And so I really wish that I would have applied it using some glue because that Got To Be Glue spray don't be sticking for me. I wasn't trying to have this wig on forever, so I didn't want to use the glue. Is it just me or do y'all be having this problem as well with Got To Be Glue spray? Like it don't be sticking. If y'all be having this problem, let me know in the comment sections below and give me a suggestion on what other type of spray y'all be using to lay down y'all wigs. All right, you guys, um, so it is the next day, so I'm about to go ahead and curl my hair. Um, yeah, I think that's what I wanna do to it. I'm gonna just go ahead and curl it and then finish up this look for y'all. I'm gonna just go in and curl it using my flat iron. Now I'm gonna use my curling wand or curling iron. All right, y'all, so after curling my hair, I had went ahead and did my makeup. And since my hair has been pinned for a while, I'm going to just take them down. So that's what I'm doing right now. And, y'all, I am jamming right now. I'm listening to some music because I'm going to go out. So I'm just trying to catch a vibe, get in that mood, you feel me? So do not mind the facial expressions and all that. But with my curls, I'm just finger combing them out and placing the curls how I want them to so I can get the look that I'm trying to achieve. But here goes the final look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Even though there are some areas of the hair that isn't lavender but is silver or blue, I still like the way it turned out. Let me know what you guys think below. All right, you guys, so this is the end of the video. This is the final look. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, make sure you go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to your girl's channel, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you waiting on? And also, if you have any other video ideas y'all want to see next, make sure y'all go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below. And I will see you all in the next video.